Hello, welcome back. Just wanted to do a quick intro. The footage you're about to watch is from like eight weeks ago. That's a lie. I've only had her four weeks. Four weeks ago. It's like last the beginning of last month. And then I haven't vlogged anything since then. But um, it's really cute little footage of Delilah. We have a puppy. Ta-da! I'm also engaged. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, so I really wanted to still put the vlog up and everything. So here is my roundup. Probably the first two weeks of having Delilah. Having a puppy is freaking hard. <laughs> Also, quick add on, I have different coloured hair because I dyed it last week. Do you like it? It looks really, like, faint on the camera, but actually it's really bright in person. <laughs> Smile. Hmm. Keep your eyes on the right. Jesus. 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 My day is it. Sunday. It's Delilah Day! We're getting a dog, so we're, yeah, we're getting a puppy. Yeah, this is really awkward because he keeps coming out to go to the bin. So we're outside the person's house where we're getting a dog from, and they keep coming out to go to the bin, and we're filming, so he just thinks we're sitting in the car doing weird shit. Weird stuff. Oh, hello. Come Sorry. Yeah, so we're gonna go get Delilah now, and then, we show you her when we get back in the car. Yeah. Okay. Bye. You got a little fur baby. Tweet her. been introduced in Delilah. We were going to film it but I'm actually quite glad we didn't because we needed to concentrate. Yeah. I, I think it went well. There was some growling. Yeah. There was a little bit of <laughs> from the cat. Yeah. Like chattering. And she fluffed up to begin with but she's been really intrigued. Yeah she's just asleep on the and chair. And now she's asleep on the chair. Delilah's asleep here. She I me. think it went well. Yeah. She doesn't prefer anybody yet. Hey, she climbed onto me when I was sat on the floor, so I'd say it's pretty even love right now. We're just chilling, watching Hook right now, and Ben's going to make me a cup of tea. I brought a lemon cake yesterday, and this is how I get treated. I made you a cup of tea this morning. Pouchon, so that means she's a mix of Bichon Frise and a miniature poodle. But Del yeah, oh. but Delilah also has a little bit of Chihuahua in hers. Her mum is Chihuahua Bichon, um, and then a dad's miniature poodle. So we don't actually know what she's gonna look like when she gets bigger. Basically, just a big fluff ball that's gonna be tiny. Yeah. But yeah. I'm trying your big fluff ball. But she's so cuddly and so cute, isn't she? Mm. Oh, hi. Delilah update. We haven't really been filming much because been quite stressful. 
she is good as god oh my god freaking adorable everyone loves her we've taken her to see loads of people um where are you over there you can see luna no Mm -hmm. I'll explain Luna in a minute. Yeah, I want to keep her really sociable uh, with like people and then as soon as she can socialise with other dogs she is going to be out there meeting them all and making besties. But we have been struggling with food and crate training. So Luna and Delilah we were really worried about but actually they're pretty good. Like Luna is fascinated by her and Delilah just wants to play with Luna. Luna hasn't quite realised that she wants to play and I think she's a little bit scared of her. But yeah, so far so good with that. Like that, we thought that was going to be our biggest problem, but actually it's the easiest. <laughs> Food? Hello? She's just sat down here. I'm just preparing her dinner. We think we've found a solution, but we've been really struggling. So, um,. First day, perfectly fine, she ate her food. Second day, she ate it in the morning. And then since Monday on her second feed, so we're feeding her four times a day, um, Monday from her second feed, like that was it. She just wasn't interested anymore. And we have been having to like hand feed her or she'll eat it off of the floor, but she won't eat very much. Um, one itch yeah um and it's been quite frustrating however today we tried adding a little bit of chicken with her food and she ate the whole plate so this is round two of chicken so we'll see if it works i'm i'm properly measuring it out so as not to like overfeed her but also we're now mixing everything with puppy milk so we were doing it with water but now we're doing puppy milk she likes the puppy milk so that also helped a little bit then adding in the chicken has also really helped and then we go to crate training so we've kind of worked out from a few things that our breeder said that she was actually letting the puppies sleep on her bed so yeah she was letting the puppies sleep on her bed um, all together with all of the other dogs, not just puppy's mum. To be honest, not massively impressed with our breeder. She, it was her first litter and you could clearly tell that she absolutely adored the dogs. Like, I've got no worries about the fact that she doesn't like the dogs, that like, she didn't care for them at all, but there was no like thought in her mind that these puppies are going to other people. So probably shouldn't give them the bad habits that mine have. So she was letting the puppies sleep on the bed all together. So then when we got this little one home and we're like, we really want to, but we said to her that we were going to crate train. Um, she just freaks. Oh my God. So the first night Ben ended up sleeping on the floor. I don't know what we, I don't even know what we filmed yet, but Ben ended up sleeping on the floor in front of her crate with her with the crate door open um, and then every time she came out he'd put her back in bless him and then then we asked for a little bit of advice and people were like oh well my best friend said about trying puppy relaxation music or like dog relaxation music and the first night we tried that so the Monday night night two left her out of the crate <laughs> probably not the best idea but we wanted, wanted to try Left her out of the crate, left the crate door open. We put her to bed in her crate and she fell asleep there. She, like, this is the thing. She falls asleep in her crate so happily. She takes herself in there. She's not scared of it. Um, it's, I think it's the being alone that she just can't handle. But yeah, we tried the relaxation music second night. She cried for an hour and that was it. And we were like, we've done it. What are you crying for? I think chicken is the way forward. Sit you there while we continue the story. So, where was I? Second night, puppy music, cried for an hour. Hurrah, thought we'd found the solution. Really happy. The third night, we did the same thing. However, I don't know if this plays a point, like a point or not, and I'm really sorry if this is a really rambly vlog, but I'm just trying to get help, and also, if anyone is getting a new puppy, just kind of what to expect. Our, I played the dog uh, relaxation music from YouTube on the TV. So we use the TV as like a nightlight. 
she is loving that food as a nightlight but on tuesday our wi-fi stopped working which means the tv doesn't work the third night we used one of our side lights and the music was on my phone she cried the whole night like wouldn't settle cried the whole night the routine in the evening was exactly the same like we fed her we played her like weared her out she fell asleep we tucked her in everything left and she slept for like an hour if that maybe um and as soon as she was awake that was it and then she cried all night i got up at 5 a.m that morning it's so hard to listen to them cry and not like give in and come down and hug them and be like everything's okay i promise everything is okay do you want to come for a cuddle are you finished your food no because that doesn't help anything and then they think that they're crying obviously means that someone will come down and save them which is not the point say hello i know you're all talking about me when you were talking about me. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, where was I? It's really hard to listen to it, basically. Last night, we had to do the same thing again. And we had to bath her at 2am because she came down and she'd knocked her water everywhere and she'd pooed and she'd rolled in her poo so she was covered in poo. So at 2am, we had to bath her. Um, and then I slept downstairs. <laughs> I feel like we're like tr trying so hard but then we're also making so many problems for ourselves as well because we're not giving in but we almost are um, but we, we also got a message from our neighbour last night but we made a point of we told our neighbours that we were getting Delilah and we were like look we're going to create train it's probably going to be a little bit noisy for the first week is that okay do you mind and they were like no it's fine um, like we understand and then our neighbour messaged and was like um I'm actually having real trouble sleeping. I was like, yeah, so are we. <laughs> um, like, I understand that it's annoying, but we warned you, and if you had an issue, then you should have voiced it then, because then we would have rethought our decision almost, you know, like, because maybe it wasn't the right place for us. But anyway, that's a complete different story. So, yeah, she freaked out massively. We had to bath her, which she was fabulous with, by the way. She, had, I think she quite enjoyed it. Uh, she was fine. <laughs> Um, and we gave you a nice little brush, didn't we, to make sure you were all still, like, smooth and cosy and mat-free. Um, I think we sussed the food, by the way. I think we have. Uh, and here we are now, trying to work out our next game. A lot of people have said to try a ticking clock, so I think we're going to try a ticking clock tonight. Um, because it kind of represents the mum's heartbeat, like the sound of the heartbeat. So we're going to try that tonight and see how that goes but yeah it's been it's been tough it's hard getting a puppy and i knew it would be hard like it's not like we went into this blind like we knew it was going to be really hard but i think the fact that her breeder was letting her sleep on the bed um and stuff like that really won't have helped our situation because a lot of breeders that I know crate train the puppies so they're crate trained before they even go to their home and it's more a case of them just getting used to being on their own rather than being in the crate like they know that crates are safe um but she had never seen a crate before in her life so it was always going to be really really hard but this it's just heartbreaking to like hear her <laughs> so if you have any tips for crate training let me know what they are um yeah, at least one good thing's happened today. We've cracked food. You're eating your dinners now. That might help her sleep actually, because if she has a full tummy, she might be more tired. You never know, we'll see. Um, I'm home on my own right now because Ben's brother has broken down, so he's gone to get some jump leads to try and save him. <laughs> more now. Um, to try and save him and then, yeah. So yeah, puppy tips for crate training, please let me know. We met our dog walker the other day and she's so adorable. She's going to be coming in during the day while we're at work to come and um, give her a fuss and food and like puppy pad change and everything like that during the day. Um, and then as soon as she's allowed out, she'll be going out for walks and stuff with her too during the in the middle of the day, which is really, really nice. Um, but she was lovely and Delilah adored her. Like, you, you know, you can just tell a dog gets on. Um, it was a bit like that. So that's really nice. But yeah. Still no Wi-Fi, I've got no internet, but it should be, we should be getting a new router tomorrow, 
we haven't even had this router a year like we've been in this house since July um, and that's when we got the router it's already broken today's tip or today's lesson is chicken chicken is the way forward 